This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Dialogue with Divinity. This is Johanna Carroll, your host. I'm absolutely thrilled today because I have a woman in Hollywood who I think is one of the nicest people in Hollywood and also the queen of the cancer schmancer movement, and that's Fran Drescher. And I'm sure all of you know who she is, but I do want to share with you that besides being a film and comedian, television actress, model, producer, she's an ordained universalist minister and an activist. And the thing that we need, Fran, is as a uterine cancer survivor, she really has taken this whole subject of health and wellness and well-being and really turned it into a major movement. She's very outspoken about health care, being an out, uh, advocate for that, and also lesbian, gay rights activist. She really is also very much noted for her work as a public di- diplomacy envoy for women's health issues for the United States Department. So anyway, Fran Drescher, welcome to Dialogue with Divinity, and thank you so much for taking the time to talk about Cancer Schmancer and this incredible movement and your summit that's coming up in Los Angeles. Well, thanks for giving me a forum. You know, every place I can find a listener, I want to talk about how I can help them uh, change their life so that they can reduce their risk of disease and how they can feel more empowered by and, and, and empower their family as well and connect lifestyle with disease much more so than we're doing and to realize that we have purchasing power, consumerism, to dictate manufacturing trends and manufacturers' responsibility. You know, one of the parts of your story that really sort of hit home for me was a a couple of years ago, I was seeing a doctor and I had some major health health problems and I didn't feel that he listened to me. Matter of fact, I know he didn't listen to me because six months later, I wound up having two emergency heart surgeries. And I know that it took you two years trying and eight doctors, I believe, that you went to before you really got the correct diagnosis. And I wonder if that is a common thing, particularly for women. Uh, Well, uh, first of all, I think that it runs pretty rampant in the United States because doctors are bludgeoned by big business health insurance to go the least expensive route of diagnostic testing, so many of them uh, subscribe to the philosophy, if you hear hooves galloping, don't look the zebra, it's probably a horse. But Mm. if you happen to see a zebra, you're at risk of falling through the cracks until, sadly, you may be diagnosed when it's too late. I, by the grace of God, even after two years and eight doctors, was finally diagnosed with uterine cancer while it was still in stage one. Mm. And, uh, you know, but that was because I was very persistent and I didn't really listen to any of the doctors that were very convinced that I was perimenopausal. And every time they put me on another hormone replacement therapy, it wasn't helping me. And in some cases, it even exacerbated my symptoms. So I would move on. And the whole process was, in hindsight, a journey, I believe, that I was destined to be on. And um, I feel like I got famous, I got cancer, and I lived to talk about it. So I'm talking. And, the you know, but women, of course, uh, are, you know, known to be a little more passive and less um, challenging and less... Um, 
you know, uh, and, and more easily intimidated in the doctor's office. So my goal is without question to empower women to challenge their physicians, become better partners with them. My goal is to transform all patients into medical consumers and recognize what the early warning whispers are of the te- and know the tests that are available because uh, they may not even be on the menu at the doctor's office. But women are also uh, very powerful in the sense that they remain the caregiver, even in these times when um, most women are, are working women, still remain the caregiver to the child, the spouse, and the elder in almost every home nationwide and worldwide. She is also the largest consumer of any demographic. So what she buys, how she takes care of her family, what she brings into the home, what they eat, who's making those doctor's appointments is her. So we engage and empower her with education because knowledge is power and motivation because all too often women will neglect their own health and sacrifice themselves for their family, put aside those early warning whispers that they know are indications of something, but they got to get the kids off to school, they got to get food on the table, they got to go to work, they got to bring on the bed, whatever it is. They come up with a million excuses why they don't need to make that doctor's appointment today. And uh, what we do at Cancer Schmancer is tell you, you know, uh, you know when something feels off. Make that appointment, have it checked out, because if you catch it on arrival, 95% survival, and you are useless to your family when you're six feet under. Well, you know, I have to tell you, not that this is about me, this is about everyone and every woman and man out there with an illness, but I have to say that one of the nurses said to me, you're lucky you came in when you did because most women don't, you know, and I think that women typically maybe we're just used to all these aches and pains and like you said putting everyone you know before ourselves but i also feel that spiritually right now we do have a responsibility uh to understand that loving yourself and serving yourself is not being selfish it's really serving your soul at a very deep profound level so i know that you've got this amazing health summit that's coming up on October the 26th, which is a Wednesday in Los Angeles at the Skirball Cultural Center. For those of you that are listening, we are really encouraging you to attend this summit because the speakers and the people that are really going to educate you to a whole new level so that you are a more informed medical consumer, it's profound. You can purchase your tickets at cancerschmancer.org. So I was looking at the the syllabus or your schedule or menu of all the people that are talking. And it's, it's very, very diverse. And I was very happy to see that you've got, you've got, um, you've got a conversation going about quantum physics and how that can boost your immune system. Is that something that, you know, you personally, if you don't mind me asking, how does quantum physics and energy work really fit into boosting the immune system and your general sense of, knowledge about your body well uh, you know we're that's all we are is energy and electrical currents so i mean this physical body that's that's really all it is and if we start looking at how we're intercepting the beautiful harmony of our energy field and how it fits so perfectly in the natural world with everything that we impose upon it that's unnatural or radioactive, you, um, you, uh, you can only imagine why, uh, our poor little immune systems have such a difficult time preventing us from getting sick nowadays because there's just a cacophony of things that we are exposed to on a daily uh, basis uh, that is electromagnetic fields that completely interrupt who we are 
as energy forces. And, you know, I, I would, I mean, and we wear a lot of rubber soled shoes all day. We hardly ever are barefoot getting the energy from the earth. Mm-hmm. But if you think about us as an antenna for the earth's energy, you know, you need to ha- allow that energy to come into us. And uh, there's so much about uh, indigenous wisdom that we are fast forgetting, uh, thanks to, you know, the Western world and the Industrial Revolution, which is really not as much of a revolution as uh, a dark ages, quite frankly. Well, how we've impacted our planet and our health and the entire living world and all of our natural resources is uh, really sad and completely unsustainable and not serving us well. So we have to look at health as a holistic global problem we and everything on this planet is one big interconnected living organism and uh we have to start thinking about our body as a system not individual parts of the body that get sick and is unrelated to the rest but as a complete system that either works in harmony or becomes disharmonious and what it is that we're doing on a daily basis that's causing that interference. Now, um, uh, we expose ourselves to so many chemicals, we don't even really think about it, but one out of two men and one out of three women are expected to get cancer in their life. The children of today, for the first time in U.S. history, are anticipated to not live as long as their parents. Babies are being born pre-polluted with two to 300 chemicals found in the umbilical cord, and American Mm. women's breast milk has the highest percentage of flame retardant in it from any woman on the planet. So we have to start really thinking about the fact that cancer is the end stage of inflammation, and inflammation comes from lifestyle mostly. Over 90% of all of our cancers are environmentally simulated. Only 5% is genetic. And even genes has been proven to turn on and off depending on how you uh, live your life and what you expose yourself to. So we have the power to make that change right here and right now. And if your listeners come to our Cancer Schmanza Summit on a health summit on October 26th at the Skirball Cultural Center here in Los Angeles, they're really going to get an earful of all different experts from, you know, people that are very much on the cutting edge of innovation to traditional to Eastern and indigenous uh, concepts of how to stay health and keep your body in harmony and in ease so it's not in disease and um, this is I think essential conversation to start having and never stop because the way we live and the way we treat the planet is completely unsustainable and with so many people getting sick, we're just getting used to it. It's be- we're getting numb to the fact that so many people are getting sick, that so many children have learning differences, that younger people are getting diseases that historically were for older people, that there are so many autoimmune problems. And the people that are getting rich are big business pharmaceuticals, mm-hmm. big business health insurance, And, uh, you know, people that are in the business of sickness. You know, I read an article recently that said that over 65% of pharmaceutical drugs are consumed in the United States, which is a really high number. And that, you know, um, part of the formulary and the 
the syllabus in the top medical schools, it's almost like, you know, they're, they're, I mean, I don't mean to trash them because there's parts of traditional medicine that do have value, but it's like, you know, they're, they're learning to just prescribe a lot of medicine. And, you know, as you said, even for yourself, when you were on your path of recovery, there were a lot of drugs that you were taking that actually were not good for your system. And so because we've got a pharmaceutical industry and we do have an insurance industry um, and we have, you know, the medical community at large, I mean, it really is going to require a whole shift in consciousness. Do you see that? I mean, obviously your summit is a huge, huge piece of this. It's a very big voice for everyone. Do you see that in terms of the medical doctors that you are talking to, both traditional and alternative, are they really seeing the value in shifting this consciousness? You know, it's a whole paradigm. It's a really whole new paradigm in healing. Are you seeing a new wave of consciousness? Uh, I see how we at Cancer Schmancer are impacting the uh, culture and consciousness of uh, everyday life. And I, and I think that, you know, the people that will attend our health summit on the 26th uh, will really learn a lot. They'll hear things that, you know, their regular doctor may not know or won't say. Uh, we've been dumbed down to think that we need our government research to tell us we shouldn't do something. Mm -hmm. And until mm -hmm. we uh, see that proof, it's okay to do it. That's not true. Actually, it's just the opposite. There isn't enough money in the world to research what we need to know. Nobody is going to support it because there's too much money at stake and too much pressure from big business to keep everything the status quo and not educate the public. You have to start listening to your inner voice because that's closest to your creator. And if you're using toothpaste that has poison control, you should stop using that. And you don't have to listen to wait for somebody at the FDA to say, you know, maybe putting this in our mouth two times a day minimum isn't the best thing because the gums is the gateway to everything. Right. And this thing, you know, I mean, it's like use your brain when it comes to your health. So I know that Dr. Christy Funk is going, for those of you, okay, again, Cancer Schmancer Summit. You've really, really got to make an effort to be in L.A. and attend this on October the 26th. It's going to be at the Skirball Center. For more information, you can go to their website, which is cancerschmancer.org, and they can purchase their tickets there and find out more information, correct? Okay, so. Because it's, uh, it's free to join and get all kinds of information. Learn how to detox your home. Learn how to make healthy cleaning products. Learn how to throw a detox your home party. Learn how to engage your family. We have video. We have all kinds. We have a whole thing that you can uh, tap into for products that uh, the uh, cosmetics industry and uh, the environmental working group all agree are safe for us to use on a daily basis. These are things that, you know, we you have at your fingertips when you go to cancerschmancer.org. I know that Mary Lou Henner and her husband Michael Brown are going to be there, and they also beat cancer through lifestyle change. Did Was there a huge nutritional component to this as far as what, you know, Without what they were question. eating? Without question. Yeah. Food is medicine and medicine is food. Socrates say, wrote that in ancient Greece. You Somewhere did. Somewhere along the line in modern times, we've forgotten that, but there are indi indigenous cultures that know how to heal. But when you're eating industrial raised foods, that's laden with chemicals and uh, is GMO and, and, and industrial raised farm animals that are not living a normal life, that are given all kinds of hormones and antibiotics, that are not eating the way they were meant to eat, uh, pa being pasture raised and grass fed, 
uh, you you're eating poison. Don't bother. And if we yeah, it's really it's a it's amazing going to the grocery store. Not that I'm checking out everyone's cart, but actually on some level I do because we only eat organic food, and my husband and I are very health conscious with what we put in that system. But I have to say, there's a lot of dead food going into people's bodies, and along with the dead food is a, a tremendous amount of chemicals, tremendous amount of chemicals, particularly sugar. And from what I understand about cancer, cancer really loves sugar. So for those of you that are listening to this right now, go into your cabinet and throw away, pardon me, all the crap. You've got to, if you really care about living a body, mind, spirit, lifestyle. You've got to be true to the body, to the mind, and to the spirit. So in terms of, I know you've got American Gladiator, Dan Nitro Clark. He's he's going to be there. And I love the fact that there's men that are attending uh, your summit that are really going to talk. Does he talk specifically uh, to the men? You know, here's this tough guy, right? And he had his own health scare. And he's going to be really talking a lot about that at the summit. Is that correct? Yes, he is. And, you know. I'm kind of losing you, Fran. I hope you're there. We were talking about American Gladiator Dan Clark coming onto the summit and talking about his own health scare. And we're talking about Cancer Schmancher Movement with Fran Drescher. And I want you all to know that there's a big health summit in Los Angeles on October the 26th. It starts at 9 o'clock in the morning. For more information, you can go onto their website. You can purchase tickets at cancerschmancer.org. So we had a little break in connection. Fran, are you back with us? Okay, so what I want to say is that we have another guest that's coming on today, and actually Fran had just talked about this. And she is phenomenal as far as being another loud, loud voice for healing. And I want you to know that we've got, for all you women that are out there buying all kinds of makeup and putting it on your face and not realizing the ingredients that you've got, we've got Stacey Malkin coming on after Fran Drescher. She wrote Just Not a Pretty Face, and she talks about the ugly side of the beauty industry and all the chemicals. So I'm hoping that we've got Fran back on and are reconnected to you. Are you here with us, Fran? Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about Stacy Malkin. She wrote this book, My My I'm not just a pretty face. She wrote it 10 years ago, but she also started a major movement. And she really talks about she led the investigative uh, research project on all those toxic chemicals that are in your personal care products that Fran was just talking about. And how to find safer alternatives. She's done a tremendous amount of research. We're going to talk about what are the worst chemicals in the products. And which are the worst products and the companies as well. So we want you to know that in everything that we're talking about today. The real big message here for all of you. Is to understand that you've got choice. You've got alternatives. And it's really, if you really care about your health, I know that so many people across the planet have been affected by health scares, disease, cancer. And really what it requires, like Fran was saying, it's really a wake-up call to live your life a brand new way and a brand new day. And that's what our show, Dialogue with Divinity, is all about, bringing the wisdom keepers to shift your consciousness. So... We're hoping that we can get Fran back on, but I do want to tell you that, again, in order for your body to listen to your heart, you've got to sing it a new song. And so how do you do that? We talked about energy. We talked about the quantum field. You all have a field of light around you. It's known as the oversoul. And the oversoul holds the intelligence of the divine, yourself, and your soul. And you have an opportunity to really connect into that energetic system, both through what's available and the good things in traditional medicine and the alternative medicine and a whole new way of eating and really waking up and looking at your lifestyle a brand new way. You know, I have this saying that God will slam you into the sidewalk until you get it. And unfortunately for many people, we don't make these changes in our life and Fran is back. So we're waiting for Fran to come back on. We've lost our connection a little bit, but we haven't lost our voice. 
So we're talking about Cancer Schmancer Health Summit. It's going to be in Los Angeles on October the 26th. It's going to be at the Skirball Cultural Center, and it starts at 9 o'clock. You can get your tickets and more information at cancerschmancer.org. And we're going to finish up with Fran Drescher, who is really the queen of this movement, who basically walked around for two years not getting the right diagnosis, and after eight doctors, she did find help. And so we're going to bring her back on the air. Hi. I apologize. Hi. Hey, so, I don't know what we happened lost you. Or where I yeah. where I lost you. <laughs> you floated but. into the cosmos. That's okay. I was actually talking about the fact that, you know, we really have a responsibility to the fact that, you know, life is a blessing. And you were talking about, you know, the quantum field, which I refer to as the oversoul. And you cannot expect your soul and your spirit to be thriving if your body is not being fed just like your soul needs to be fed on some level so in terms of the alternative medical part of you know what you know to be true are you finding that meditation and quietness and you know taking a break from life unplugging all those horrible electronics is really helping people a lot uh you know i know it helps me and okay. uh, I can only gauge by my own experience as kind of the experimenter. But I really think that um, we need to uh, quiet down our lives and reduce our uh, all the radiation uh, as much as we can and to be aware of that. But where was it that you lost me? Because we weren't talking about that anymore. No, but I, I just carried on the conversation as if you were here listening <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I moved think. into the whole alternative piece. So, you know, we were talking about um, the fact that the medical industry and, and us as consumers, we as consumers are really influenced. And, of course, one of those big influencers is corporate dollars, but it's also the media. Do you see that there's any hope that the media is going to change their voice around all of this? Well, uh, look, uh, you know, the media responds to us and our behavior. If we stop feeding into fear-driven news reporting, that's uh, primarily has a controlled narrative, Mm -hmm. if we stop buying products that are filled with carcinogens, if we stop thinking that we have to constantly be spraying our homes with pesticides or eating foods that are unhealthily grown, industrial farming is probably the worst thing that could have happened to any of us. And these poor... And these poor industrial farmed animals that mm-hmm. live a completely unnatural life mm-hmm. and are given foods that are, uh, you know, not healthy for them and not healthy for us. And in addition to that, um, they're given, you know, hormones and antibiotics and grain that's GMO f- grains. And, you know, it's just, it's, and, and they're miserable. On top of it, you know, you, know I, you I, are what you eat. You are what you eat, and that is true. And as you said before, Socrates' great teaching from all those eons ago that you know, food is medicine. Medicine is food. I think we've forgotten that. You know, we've we've come to the well. Fast we're going to forget everything that uh, indigenous cultures already know for five thousand years if we don't start. You know turning this around because we're slipping into a rabbit hole towards our own demise. They're dumbing down our instincts and all in the name of greed. So, you know, if it's about greed, then hit them where they live and stop buying this stuff. So stop again, buying. I want to really encourage everyone to, to attend the Cancer Schmancer Summit, which is going to be on October 26th at the Skirball Cultural Center in Los Angeles. You can purchase your tickets and find out more information at cancerschmancer.org. 
So, Fran, I mean, I really, you really are the the queen of the cancer schmancher movement, and you know, your voice obviously is well known, but so is your message. And you know, I think it's wonderful that from a celebrity status, you really are u- using your voice um, for a spiritual, in my opinion, a spiritual mission on the earth. So, I really want to honor you for that. So, in closing, because we want to let you go and thank you and apologize for the little break that we had, but we used it to teach some metaphysical teachings around everything that you are representing. Is there one last message for everyone? Um, detox your home, go to cancerschmanza.org and learn how you can transform from being a patient into a medical consumer. Thank you and so come much. To the health summit. Absolutely. Summit on October 26th. Please. You Thank won't you, regret it. I'm going to blow your mind. I bet you will. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank okay, you so much. bye-bye. Thanks for the support. Gibbs A. Williams, Ph.D., is a practicing psychoanalyst, supervisor, researcher, and author in New York City. Much of his life has been dedicated to understanding nature and the uses of meaningful coincidences or synchronicities. His radical and original non-Jungian, non-mystical, non-magical theory of synchronicities illuminates much of the fog surrounding this challenging and perplexing topic. His ideas and manners are fresh, presented in a style that is both entertaining and highly informative. He is also an expert on crisis intervention, specially focused on violence reduction for the police and citizens, mastering anxiety, frustration, and stress without the use of medication, and effectively preventing and treating heroin addiction. Dr. Williams can be contacted at his email address at gwwilliamsny11 at aol.com or visit his website at www.drgibbswilliams.com. Shamanism is recognized as a method to access the quantum level. Mastery of shamanic skills puts spiritual information and healing power into your hands. Path Home Shamanic Art School, a bonded Colorado certified occupational school, has met rigorous state standards ensuring its director and instructors have the qualifications to teach the shamanic arts. Path Home offers a certification program in blocks of study. Block 1, a five-day intensive, will be held in the beautiful mountain town of Coldale, Colorado, October 13th through 18th, Registration deadline is September 12th. Experience journey trance, power animals, helping spirits, sacred space, and life purpose. Come discover your power. Join me, Gwilda Wiyaka, in the magical world of shamanism. Call 303-775-3431 or visit findyourpathhome.com. Wouldn't you love to know the secret to everything? Well then, meet Dr. Kimberly McGeorge and her cutting-edge breakthrough knowledge that combines science with possibility. Dr. Kimberly brings real-life answers and healing to those open to alternative solutions. She teaches solution-based programs and classes that will change all areas of your life forever. Specializing in conscious creation, intuitive readings, and energy medicine, you can rapidly shift health, relationships, business, and money and abundance challenges quickly. Receive her best-selling book, Secret to Everything, at no cost by going to secrettoeverything.com forward slash X zone. That's right. Transformation can start now. Just go to secrettoeverything.com forward slash X zone and receive Dr. Kimberly's book for free. While science pursues fact, magic accesses the quantum level, bridging random facts to form truth. As long as science and magic remain separate and polarized, the truth cannot be known. I'm Gwilda Wiecka. Join me on the Science of Magic radio program, dedicated to unification and evolution of consciousness. During each episode, I'll be speaking with experienced and respected scientists and mystics. 
From astrologers to astronomers, from medical doctors to shaman, the scientific method to dowsing and intuition, we'll weave together information from seemingly divergent practices to promote unity and enlightenment. Join me, Gwilda Wiyaka, and the Science of Magic right here on the Mutual Broadcast Network. For more information, visit www.thescienceofmagic.net. As host of Dialogue with Divinity, I am thrilled to join the Exxon Broadcast Network and their growing number of affiliates. My quest for a connection to the divine ignited my successful career path as an international spiritual counselor for over 40 years and author of four books and well-known metaphysical educator. My clients call me their spiritual mama. So my job is to offer you a radio show to help you grow spiritually with wisdom and get specific tools from guests who are experts in their field. Tune into Dialogue with Divinity and be part of the conversation with spirit. My goal, your happy soul. For more information, please visit my website at johannacarroll.com. Afterlife expert Roberta Grimes was the first one to say that dying can be fun. Now her best-selling book, The Fun of Dying, is available in stores worldwide. So if you wonder whether death ends life, how it feels to die, or what heaven might be like, The Fun of Dying was written for you. And if you have always been afraid of death, or if you worry that your life is no meaning, let The Fun of Dying ease your fears and bring new meaning to your life. Nothing said in The Fun of Dying is based on the teachings of any religion. Instead, Roberta draws on evidence to explain how death happens, how it feels, and what comes next. A lot of the best death-related evidence was produced in the first half of the 20th century. When it is put together with recent discoveries, it tells a consistent and amazing story. Roberta Grimes blogs and answers questions at robertagrimes.com. Her wonderful book, The Fun of Dying, is available on Amazon and at stores worldwide wherever books are sold. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our show. This is Johanna Carroll. I'm your host of Dialogue with Divinity, and we are continuing our conversation about this amazing Cancer Schmancer movement and summit that's going to be in Los Angeles on October 26th. And the, the woman that I'm bringing on now, I'm so excited for everyone to listen to what she has to say. Because for over a decade, Stacey Malkin has led campaigns to move the market to safer products and healthy food. She's the author of the award-winning book, Not Just a Pretty Face, The Ugly Side of the Beauty Industry. And she's co-founder of the National Campaign for Safe Cosmetics. She was named one of the most seven powerful women in the natural beauty industry, and she's currently the co-director of the public watchdog group U.S. Right to Know, which stands up for truth and transparency in our food system. So, Stacy, welcome to Dialogue with Divinity. Thanks so much for having me, Johanna. I, you know, for 10 years, while you've been really out there, you know, Fran was talking about everybody needs to have a voice and everybody needs to, you know, lead the troops and we really need to shift the consciousness. So you led an incredible effort to investigate toxic chemicals and personal care products. Can you talk about that a little? Because I know you also have some alternatives to offer as well. Sure. Um, and, you know, this is part of a huge and I think so exciting movement of largely women who are saying, you know, we want to know what's in the products that we put on our bodies, put on our faces and our hair and on our children. Um, and I started with a group of women uh, about 12 years ago now, can't believe it's been so long, um, but we started investigating personal care products to look for uh, chemicals of concern, and we found plenty to be concerned about, um, and we formed over the years a, a large coalition of groups, um, researchers, advocates, who decided to really take a close look at, you know, what's in the personal care products that we're putting on our bodies. Nobody had really done that. And over the years, we did tons of research, sending hundreds of products to labs to have them tested, um, put together with our colleagues at Environmental Working Group, a huge database of chemicals and cosmetics. So we were really able to answer 
you know, that question for the first time what's in these products. And unfortunately, we found that many of the products we use every day, so shampoos, deodorants, lotions, even, unfortunately, baby products, that's yeah. been some of the most disturbing findings to me, um, commonly contain chemicals that are linked to cancer, hormone disruption, um, birth defects, allergies, asthma, and, um, you know, this is just not necessary. You know, I read an article recently um, about uh, baby powder and how, uh, I don't know why all of a sudden it's coming out now. Maybe there's just, you know, the voice is louder and the conversation is there. But women that women that were using baby, baby powder theirself and their, you know, near their lady parts and how it really affected the fact that, you know, a lot of them actually got cancer from this. Is that a correct statement? Well, yeah, the reason that it's coming out now is because Johnson & Johnson has been getting sued by women who had mm. ovarian cancer or who died from it, um, wow. women who had used talc-containing baby powder um, on the most sensitive parts of their bodies, as you said, you know, for daily, for decades, some of these right. women. And and when it's gotten to court, you know, they see that Johnson & Johnson had evidence that there were concerns about links to ovarian cancer. And rather than backing away from you know, putting it in their products or marketing these products for use on women's parts and also babies' butts. You know, where do we use talc baby powder but those sensitive locations exactly right. where you shouldn't use them because that's where the risk is highest. You know, so I know some- that you, you, you've you got, you've been working with Congress and I know that one of the one of the notes that I've got here is that Congress is finally going to update the 70-year-old cosmetic laws do you really see that this is really going to happen next year I mean, you said the bipartisan bill that's on the table is really weak why is it weak and do you think this will really come to pass well it's a big deal because the cosmetic laws are you know seven decades old um, and they really give fda almost no power to do anything to get dangerous products off the market um, and so they need to be changed. Even the industry is, is saying that, yeah, we need to change these laws because they recognize that consumers have lost confidence. You know, a lot of people, of course, believe that products on the shelves, somebody's making sure that they're safe. But that's not the case with cosmetics. And as you know, people have had such a, there's been a revolution in awareness about this. So many people are asking questions, um, changing their, you know, the products that they're buying, starting companies. You know, the the good news is there's lots of good products on the market. You need to do your research to find them. And people are doing that and demanding changes. Even some of the big companies have made changes. Um, So at this point now, uh, companies, environmental groups, everyone saying, okay, we have to change these laws. Um, and there is a commitment in Congress to get that done. And it probably, we expect that it's probably going to move next year, probably right around the summer. And it's really going to take a huge concerted consumer uh, rights effort to get real protections in that bill. Right now, it's, it falls far short. <laughs> you know, I noticed uh, lately that Alicia Keys, who I absolutely love, she stopped waking, she stopped wake, wearing makeup. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but I doubt. <laughs> I saw that she was- she does look great, and you know she's a very conscious person. Did you know she's that very when you're awake, on the road she's very with aware, which is what Wi-Fi, any, everybody you can still listen to, this right to the Exome Radio Show with Rob McConnell, like The Science of Magic with Wilda Wiaka, so she High Tech with Corey K, and every minute of the 24/7, 365 programming of the Exome Broadcast Network ego. by calling 712-432-9459, courtesy of TalkStream Live. No smartphone app. Or makeup internet needed. Makes it saves your difference. data plan, you know, and, and it's so free it's if you have unlimited minutes. Call seven one two four three two nine four five nine. You're like a grandmother or something like this. But when I see someone anywhere. like Alicia Keys, seven one two four three two nine four five nine. Remember seven one two four three two nine four five nine. For the best of paranormal, new age, thought-provoking, sci-fi radio programming, twenty four seven, three sixty five. I know that you definitely, your whole committee has really been great. Well, the good news is that there are safer alternatives. So the whole campaign for safe cosmetics, um, where would an individual consumer who may be listening to our show right now, where would they go? 
to Coming really to take a look at what they've got, Network what they should get rid of, and what me. they should Kevin replace Randall it with, your host. if in fact they want we'll to take a look at what got. is happening in the world of UFOs <laughs> well, today, with side trips into the paranormal. Guests are available at Guests will range from those who are household um, names to those who have a different perspective on a variety of topics. No topic will be taboo, um, but there will be tough questions and asked if we all search for the database, truth about UFOs, which, where you the paranormal, can go online and those and things that excite us. Sometimes we'll agree with a guest, sometimes we won't, but we'll try to keep the program topical. For those of you who like to read, be sure to visit www.kevinrandall.blogspot.com and remember to listen to the other fine programs on the X-Zone Broadcast Network at www.xzbn.net. So that's the Skin Deep database, which you can find on safecosmetics.org. Okay. Um, but I think the best advice, and I love the story you just told about Alicia, because I think there's really two, the beauty industry Kevin has Randall. two For nearly 30 years, I have been investigating problems. the case of the Roswell UFO. The first is UFO. that there are toxic I have interviewed hundreds of people who stood on the press that aren't necessary. Now in Roswell in the, the 21st century, I have reviewed dozens of hours of audio and videotape yeah. interviews, examined hundreds of files that relate to the crash, That's true. and have returned and, and to Roswell in an attempt to put I all that information into the proper perspective. For the first time in Roswell in the 21st century, I have made a dispassionate reevaluation of all that material and provide a new look at what happened. This is a book that clears away all the clutter that has hidden the truth for so long, strips away the various lies that surround the case, exposes the Air Force attempts at cover-up, and found a core of solid information that tells us all where the case without. stands today. Roswell in the 21st century um, will be available in just a few weeks. For more information, please visit my website at www.kevinrandall.blogspot.com. Um, food. Um, organic oh. food, simple food, whole foods, whenever you can. What happened in Benghazi is um, revealed by Nicholas Genex, author you know, of Obama, Islam, and Benghazi. He informs the American people that President Obama deceived them by advocating a strong foreign policy prior to the 2012 presidential election, and Hillary Clinton supported this deception. As the title infers, there is a connection between we talked Obama, about with Fran Islam, a little bit Benghazi. was ample evidence informs Americans there is that a big Obama's voice that's coming out Quran around all of this around women's health Islam. issues and I think why a lot of women I've had so many women that have said to me countries. doctor and doesn't listen to me I had my own experience with that led to and military action so and you know as far as listening to Genex provides you're going to be speaking at the health summit the correct committee on Benghazi to validate if Americans are justified to mistrust President Obama and Hillary Clinton October 26th in LA at Obama, the Islam Cultural and Center. And for those of you website, that are listening, you can go to cancerschmancer.org. And then if people want to uh, learn more about what you're doing, besides the website that you've already sent women to as far as cosmetics and everything, where else can they get information? I know you've got um, the, for their food issues as well, because we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. Where would they find your information? So my new organization, U.S. Right to Know, you can find it online at usrtk.org. And we've been investigating what's going on behind the scenes of the food industry and really just how much corporate influence goes into what we hear from universities, professors, um, government agencies about nutrition. A lot of it's just been wrong. Um, and, you know, like, well, for example, Coke is engaged in a huge campaign to try to convince people that obesity is because we all don't exercise enough and, you know, it has nothing to do with sugary soda. <laughs> um, so we don't need to attack soda and we don't need to worry about soda. Everybody just needs to exercise more. That's uh, just an example of kind of big food influence on, sure, you know, funding sure. nutrition studies and professors and huge well-funded front groups. And so there are a lot of inaccurate, you know, they'll, they'll pay dietitians to tweet. It's just coming from all angles so you really have to have your bs detector up for what we're hearing about food um and it, you know you mentioned fran and i wanted to say the event next week october 26th it's awesome i love fran's cancer schmancer health summit because she's so inspiring as a person who's had cancer and realized, mm -hmm. like you were saying, we have to take our health into our own hands and become empowered ourselves to find paths to healing. And Fran's message really like jazzes up women and, and cancer survivors to do that and realize, you know, there are things you can do to, to make your environment safer. And then there are things we can do together to advocate for policies to make the beauty industry clean up its act. You know, I always say that a smart woman 
reads and she learns through her life experiences and a wise woman listens to her soul. And I know my husband and I were having this discussion about, you know, food and diet. We're very, very conscious about this. And he said to me, you know what? Doctors forget to ask people, how are you feeling instead of all these (laughs) symptoms, you know, that are coming from Coke and sugar and chips and all this, you know, McDonald's or whatever, fast food industry. They're not paying attention to how are you really feeling? And I think a lot of people that are listening, you got to ask yourself that question. How do I really feel? Well, how does my body, my mind, my spirit, my heart and soul really, really feel? So relative to the, um, we've got a few minutes to talk about the food industry and the labeling. And, you know, somehow, though, the GMO thing, it's, it's gotten a bad rap. It really has. Why is that? <laughs> Well, there, there has been tremendous effort. I mean, it's incredible, really, to, to, to put out misinformation, attack activists, scientists who raise concerns, um, and, and really just put forth the message, GMOs are safe, pesticides are safe, we, we you know, don't worry your pretty little head about it, basically. But, yes. um, you know, here in California, I worked on the labeling um, ballot initiative, which was four years ago, and it was a huge, huge grassroots effort of women and moms, you know, getting that labeling initiative on the ballot, because as I was saying before, so many people are asking questions. And I think women are more getting information from each other um, than, you know, looking to the experts as much, any, or, or the commercials as we used to get, you know, taught at what to buy um, from commercials. Now women are more searching for information online and building networks of informed, you know, consumers they to are. learn from. So that's you know, like Stacey- a huge shift. We want to thank you so much for being on this show. And again, we're reminding everyone to attend Cancer Schmancher Summit in L.A. October 26th next week. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. And for all of you, sending you a beautiful hug to your heart. And to remember, pay attention to what you're eating, what you're putting on your face, your body, mind, spirit. Bye for now. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the Exome Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, High Tech with Corey Kay, and every minute of the 24-7, 365 programming of the Exome Broadcast Network by calling 712-432-9459, courtesy of TalkStream Live. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 712-432-9459 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember, 712-432-9459 for the best of paranormal, new age, thought-provoking, sci-fi radio programming 24-7, 365. Dr. Carl O'Helvey, founder, president of a new cancer foundation focusing on evidence-based physical, mental, and spiritual interventions, including natural cancer cures, prayer, meditation, affirmations, nutrition, and other related holistic cancer prevention and cure modalities. These are used in cancer education, research, and financing care. I ask for your help to continue this important work by donating at www.holisticcancerfoundation.com. This is Kevin Randall. For nearly 30 years, I have been investigating the case of the Roswell UFO. I have interviewed hundreds of people and stood on the crash site. 
Now on Roswell in the 21st century, I have reviewed dozens of hours of audio and videotaped interviews, examined hundreds of files that relate to the crash, and have returned to Roswell in an attempt to put all that information into the proper perspective. For the first time in Roswell in the 21st century, I have made a dispassionate reevaluation of all that material and provide a new look at what happened. This is a book that clears away all the clutter that has hidden the truth for so long, strips away the various lies that surround the case, exposes the Air Force attempts at cover-up, and found a core of solid information that tells us all where the case stands today. Roswell in the 21st century will be available in just a few weeks. For more information, please visit my website at www.kevinrandall.blogspot.com.